leaving a shell under a clueless director general who has no capacity to run the organization. And that is why the security sector was caught off guard by the intensity, the anger of the Kenyan people, the agitation of the Kenyan people, the lessons of the Kenyan people. Had Nuddin Haji done his job, we will not be where we are today. He has no capacity. He is out of the country most of the time on business trips. The country is on his own. My boss president, William Mutua, is exposed that he has to back down and admit that he has had it for failing President William Ruto. He must take responsibility for failing the government of the Republic of Kenya. He must take responsibility for failing the Kenyan nation by not doing his job and advising correctly. And he must do the honorable thing, not just take responsibility, but resign from that office and allow the president to pick a competent director general. I want to request President William Ruto to consider as a matter of urgency to recall the three directors who are removed from the service and the 13 assistant directors to come and help reconstruct the service and get sanity back to the National Intelligence Service to serve the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. President William Ruto deserves best, better. He deserves a director general who knows what he's doing. He deserves a national intelligence service that is effective and that can analyze situations and keep him and the government informed on what is going on. It is embarrassing to me as deputy president that it has taken protests, deaths, mayhem, destruction for the president to know the truth, yet there is an organization charged with that responsibility. I have publicly stated that under this administration, Kenyans are free to criticize the government without fear of reprisal and state agencies. This was a promise made by both the president and I when we were sworn in. I want to call upon overzealous heads of security agencies not to be tempted to use a criminal justice system to manage politics. Let us manage politics the conventional way through reaching out, consensus and concurrence. I am informed that members of parliament who voted no have already been targeted by the National Intelligence Service for harassment for their political stand. This is a promise the president and I gave to the people of Kenya that never again shall we use the criminal justice system to manage politics. I want to say that the president and I gave a categorical promise to the people of Kenya that the issue of, of abductions and extrajudicial killings will never happen again. Sadly, this is back. It is unbelievable that the son of the Honorable Attorney General of Kenya, Justin Bidan Muturi, was abducted at night in a commando style by officers of the National Intelligence Service and held in communicado for 18 hours. Yet, that is the Honorable Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. What will happen to other Kenyans? I want to ask our law enforcement agencies to dignify the President and I before the people of Kenya and not backtrack on the promises we made to the people of Kenya that we shall never again use the criminal justice system to manage politics. Yesterday, Nuddin Haji was trying to put up a team together to craft lies and propaganda and attribute the chaos that were in the country to leaders, I included, former President Uhuru Kenyatta and others. Yet it is very clear, and the President has admitted, that these protests were caused by the anger of the people of Kenya and the refusal of Finance Bill 2024. I want to call on the National Intelligence Service not to take us back to the dark old days of the Nyayo era, where you create propaganda and schemes to undermine leaders and those you don't agree with. I want to say 